Hi guys, it's Fast Fun Friday. I have been really, really busy this week. I designed and uh, put together a new website for my art, specifically for my art. Before I had my art incorporated in with my vintage and antiques website and it's gotten to the point where I want to do a lot more with the art side of it so I decided to separate them so you can find me now at sallyvanuys.com and I'll put the link in the description below I would love for you to visit um, let me know what you think it's a work in progress there will be more added but it's coming along really nicely and I'm pretty proud of it. The other thing I've been working on are digital paper packs, digital collage packs. So I have several in the works, but I do have three that are almost ready to go. And I decided since I just hit 200 subscribers, which took forever, um, <laughs> I'm going to give give something away because I'm just really, really thankful for the 200 people that have thought enough about what I'm doing to subscribe to my channel. So thank you to all of you. Thank you to whomever might subscribe in the future. But right now we're at the 200 mark. I would love to push that up. So if you want to share this video with somebody else that you think might like it, I'd really appreciate that and give it a thumbs up but anyways back to the giveaway these are three of the art packs the digital collage packs that I've been working on and I'll show you one at a time here so we don't get them confused this is the cover sheet that will be on each one with the description of which pack it is so these are French receipts and 90% of what's in this pack are scans of original French cheese company receipts that I have in my possession. So they're really beautiful. Um, this one is from 1908, I think it says. And this one is 1909. I hope I'm holding this where you can see it. This one's one of my favorites, 1911. But just the beautiful handwriting and the graphics are awesome. And these are some smaller ones. So you've got three full size sheets and then there's three smaller ones on that sheet and three smaller ones on this sheet. So most of the packs have five sheets or more in them. I might add a couple more to this um, before I offer it for sale. But that's the French receipts. And then I have the Steampunk pack, which has a full page of just a nice sepia tone and gold gears background paper. And then I have searched all over the internet for copyright free images. A lot of them come from Creative Commons. Some of them are coming from the New York Public Library. Just a lot of different places. Yeah, so this is steampunk. So just a lot of really fun. This is an original um, piece that I did in Procreate a long time ago this guy can you see him look at the hair <laughs> uh, some cool funky advertising that might be good in a steampunk piece and then some just black and white images that are common to the steampunk, steampunk theme so that's the steampunk pack and then I have a pack of mostly papers that you can use for collage or for backgrounds in art journals. So it says Vintage Papers Plus, and the plus is because I have some of my original pieces in here. But this original receipt from National Stove Company 
it's in my, the town where I live. My grandfather used to work there, and I found this and this in some of his um, belongings. This is a piece that I wish I could preserve it. I mean, it, I, I own the original old piece, and the paper's become so brittle that I'm afraid I'm going to lose it, but it's a, a really cool baseball score sheet from Heisel's Gum. Um, some ledger paper and an old document. These three postcards are in my possession and then this is a book of receipts, the cover of the book from 1731. This is an old letter and then these are this was the mark from the mark making video that I did a while back but I've used these several times in different art journal pieces just tore pieces up and put them in so I find that useful. This was the background of an intuitive piece that I painted. You may have seen it had a girl with pods and a bird um, but this was an initial stage of the background for that piece. These are from one of my early art journals. This is a piece I did not too long ago in my Dilutions journal with just some sprays and some ink and some paint and I just I thought it was really pretty and I took a picture of it before I finished the piece the two-page spread but that was the background and then this I just did recently um, Pam Gillespie who is so crazy S-E-W crazy on, on YouTube um, did a live last week one day about using napkins to create cool background papers. So I followed her lead and I made this one and I really like it and I thought I would also include that in this paper pack. So that is what is in the Vintage Papers Plus pack. So here's what you need to do. If you win the giveaway, you get your choice of any of these three, you choose one, and I will send you the digital download load link for that so that you can download it and print it out for free. And in order to be qualified to be entered into the drawing, I need you to like this video, give it a thumbs up, and make a comment. Let me know in the comments if, if you use digital collage packs and what kind of subjects you like to to see in them. If you were looking for one, what would you be looking for? Florals or maps or people? Just, you know, give me a hint as to what your favorite subject might be for a digital collage pack. And then if you would, like my Facebook page because I've also combined my Vintage on the Ridge, which is my Vintage and Antiques business, with my art on the same Facebook page. Now, that may not be a good idea, but that's where I, start. That's where I started. But I need, I need more likes over there. I'm doing okay on Instagram. You can, you can come over and follow me on Instagram if you like, but it's not a requirement. So I'm going to put all of this, I'll write it out in the description box below so that you don't have to go back and forth and try and remember what I rambled about as far as how to enter the drawing. So um, that's it. I hope you had a good week. I hope you are looking forward to the 4th of July next week. I can't even believe it's already July. What is up with that? June was just a wash, literally. It rained, I think, 29 out of 30 days in June. Well, that can't be true because June's not over, but you get my drift. It's been pretty wet. Um, oh, and I forgot to show you. I made a couple of little tags from, well, I had the tags. I didn't make the tags. But I put some of these papers on the tags, and I think they look really cute now. They're ready to further embellish and do something with put they'll be end up in a journal or somewhere and then I also laid out some papers I have this really cool seven gypsies journal 
that has different papers inside of it already. It comes with the background papers. So I took a piece of this cool ledger paper out to work on it. And I wanted to keep the numbers down the side. And then I just laid out, I'm going to tear these and glue them down. But two of these are from the French paper pack. And two are from the Vintage Papers Plus pack. So I think I will work on this this afternoon and I'll probably upload the video showing you how what I did with this page and these papers over the weekend. I'll probably get that edited and up for you. So now I'm done. That's it. I hope you enjoyed seeing the digital collage packs and hearing the news about my new website and I hope you'll you'll um, visit. Let me know if you if you did. And in the meantime, go make some art. Bye. One more thing before I go. I forgot to tell you that I will choose a winner in one week on July 5th. So you have one week to enter for the giveaway. Okay, that's it.